Hey guys, this is George, and on this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to identify songs, but with the music and not their lyrics. I have iTunes right here, and uh, let's say, um, for example, this song. Uh, these three songs they start with this like slash wiki slash and then kind of like a weird name um, so uh, you might think that the song name is wrong or uh, you just want to verify if the song name is right or for example if you imported a, a CD uh, to iTunes and you uh, you see that it has all these uh, track and the number and you want to know what the real name is um, well, you can use an application called Tunatic, which is uh, this one right here. Um, there we go. And you can see it has like a small tag with the name, uh, with a um, song uh, icon or whatever that is. Um, so you can download this application by going to the link on the description in the right. Um, so we're going to open it. And now we're going to... Um, um, try to identify a song let's say uh, this one for example because the name is kind of weird so uh, you can see every time that I talk uh, this line kind of moves uh, so that means that every time I every time any noise is introduced to the microphone uh, uh, this is gonna identify it so once you have uh, your audio uh, playing in the background um, you click on this button and it will identify the song um, and display the name and the artist and everything so right now I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to put play and you're going to see that this is going to start moving so that means that the song is going to be playing actually um, so I just want to let you guys know that this is real and it's not a trick or anything this really works um, so once you're ready you click on play you put the, you put the music up loud enough uh, so that you can see that this is, this line right here is moving, and you click on this button right here. So right now I'm gonna cut off the sound so I don't have any copyright issues, but you'll see that it's actually working. Okay guys, so um, actually the song name was wrong and um, it's called Housewife by Dr. Dre and not Dr. Dre or whatever name that was. So now what I can do is rename the song and now I have my iTunes library a bit better. So now I'm going to do another uh, search with this song and see if it works again. Okay guys, so now you can see that it identified the song as Bang Bang by Dr. Dre. So as you can see, these song names were wrong. And um, this is a really nice application because I use this a lot. And it's a very um, cool trick. Um, you know. So here for example, I have some uh, track uh, uh, songs, which I don't know where they came from. So for example, these three, I know that they are from 50 Cent and The Massacre, but uh, I don't know the track name. So right now I'm going to listen to them, and I'm going to cut off the audio. Okay, so I listened to the song, and it's Candy Shop, but I can't play that, and you guys can't verify, but you'll just have to trust me and uh, know that this works. 
So what I'm going to do right now is hit play and hit identify song. Okay, so there you can see it identified the song again, Candy Shop, 50 Cent, featuring Olivia, Olivia I mean. So, um, uh, now I have my iTunes library a bit better. And you can just do this with any song you have, for example, these three, they are kind of weird. Or, for example, this one right here, uh, it has the uh, number and the artist right by the name, so it's kind of weird. <coughs> So, um, uh, this song, for example, instead of having the real album, it has a web page. So, um, this can really help you a lot. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. If you have any problems, just send me a message. Remember, you can't have any other audio than the song you, you want to identify playing because it won't work efficiently. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Um, goodbye. Whoa, whoa.